Jesus is coming back soon. Uh, I've been feeling it in my spirit here hard lately. Uh, Revelation is playing out exactly like it says in the Bible. And I have no doubt in my heart and my mind that Jesus is going to be coming for us soon. The lines are being, are being drawn. You have to pick a side. I, me and my house, we choose Jesus Christ. Father God in heaven and Jesus Christ. Praise you, Father God. We love you. And we're waiting for your return. Let me stress that Man, it's going to be an eternal, what we choose is eternal. There's no way out if you've chosen the wrong way. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the door. He's the only way to the throne room, throne room, of, throne room of God. There's no other way. And once we've made our choice and we're where we're at, we're going to be there eternally. Either you're going to be eternally in heaven with Jesus Christ or you're going to be in the other place that is eternal also and torment and gnashing of teeth and suffering I was burned as a child I sat on a cast iron space heater and my fingers were all melted together I had to take skin grafts off of my leg and to fix my hand and man I don't remember the pain but I've been burned and I was in a plant explosion uh, a couple of years ago in 20, well, well, more than a couple of years. In 2018, I was in a plant, chemical plant explosion where I worked as an in instrument fitter for 20 years, you know, not in the same plant, but in my career as an instrument fitter. And I was in that explosion. I got surgery in my back. And so people were burned up in that fire. They didn't die, but they were burned. <clears throat> and let me tell you, fire, Eternal fire, man, that just does not sit well with my soul. I want to be saved. I want to be in heaven with Jesus Christ. I want to do the will of my Father in heaven. And I pray I don't want nobody, nobody to be lost to hell. I don't want nobody to be lost to the devil. You know, I want everyone to be saved. And, and let me stress that I love each and every one of you, even though I don't know you. But I love you as human beings. No matter what you've done, I've done many, many things wrong in my life. I've been an alcoholic and a drug addict, you know, just about my whole life. And thank Jesus, I'm 53 now. Thank Jesus, I'm saved from that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. And anyway, I say this out of love, not judgment. If you ask Jesus to forgive you of everything and truly believe in him and choose him as your Lord and Savior, you will be saved. God bless all of you. I love you all in the name of Jesus Christ, and I pray that, that God puts it in your heart and in your soul and in your mind, in your spirit, to be saved by Jesus. God bless you all.